Welcome back to our channel. Today, we have an exciting topic to discuss. Recombinant DNA vaccines. As we all know, vaccines play a crucial role in preventing infectious diseases, and recent advancements in biotechnology have led to the development of new types of vaccines, including recombinant DNA vaccines. So, let's dive into the world of genetic engineering and explore how these vaccines work. What is recombinant DNA vaccine? Recombinant DNA vaccines are a type of vaccine that utilizes genetic engineering techniques to introduce a small piece of the pathogen's DNA, antigen, into the body. This DNA is incorporated into a harmless carrier, such as a plasmid or a viral vector, and is taken up by our own cells. The cells then produce the antigen, triggering an immune response and leading to the production of antibodies and immune memory cells. These vaccines offer advantages such as safety, scalability, and the potential for broad-spectrum protection against multiple strains or variants of a pathogen. What are the different carriers or viral vectors used in recombinant DNA vaccines? There are several different carriers or viral vectors that can be used in recombinant DNA vaccines. Here are some commonly used ones. Adenoviruses. Adenoviruses are a family of viruses that can infect both humans and animals. They have been extensively studied and engineered to serve as viral vectors for vaccine delivery. Adenoviral vectors can efficiently deliver genetic material into cells and stimulate a strong immune response. Lentiviruses. Lentiviruses, such as the human immunodeficiency virus, HIV, have been modified to create safe and non-replicating viral vectors. Lentiviral vectors have the ability to infect both dividing and non-dividing cells, making them suitable for a wide range of applications, including vaccine development. Vesicular stomatitis virus, VSV, VSV is a virus that primarily affects livestock but has been engineered to act as a viral vector for vaccines. VSV vectors can efficiently infect cells and stimulate a robust immune response. Adeno-associated viruses, AAV, AAVs are small, non-pathogenic viruses that have gained attention as viral vectors due to their ability to efficiently deliver genetic material and their low immunogenicity. AAV vectors have been used in several gene therapy and vaccine development studies. Modified Vaccinia Ankara, MVA, MVA is a strain of the Vaccinia virus, which is used as a vaccine against smallpox. Modified versions of MVA have been created to serve as viral vectors for recombinant DNA vaccines. MVA vectors are safe and have been widely used in preclinical and clinical studies. Plasmids. Plasmids are small, circular DNA molecules that can be engineered to carry the desired antigen gene. They are often used as carriers in DNA-based vaccines. Lipid-based carriers. Lipid-based carriers, also known as liposomes or lipid nanoparticles, are composed of lipids that can encapsulate the antigen DNA. These carriers can enhance the stability and cellular uptake of the DNA, allowing for efficient delivery into cells. Lipid-based carriers are commonly used in nucleic acid-based vaccines, including DNA and mRNA vaccines. Protein-based carriers. Proteins, such as viral proteins or carrier proteins, can be used to encapsulate or conjugate the antigen DNA. These protein carriers can protect the DNA from degradation and facilitate its delivery into cells. Examples of protein carriers include virus-like particles, VLPs, and protein nanoparticles. Nanoparticles. Various types of nanoparticles, such as polymer nanoparticles, gold nanoparticles, or silica nanoparticles, can be utilized as carriers for recombinant DNA vaccines. These nanoparticles can be modified to carry and deliver the antigen DNA to target cells or tissues efficiently. Bacterial carriers. Some recombinant DNA vaccines use attenuated or non-pathogenic strains of bacteria, such as Salmonella or Listeria, as carriers. These bacteria can be genetically engineered to express the antigen of interest and stimulate an immune response. What is the purpose of recombinant DNA vaccine? The purpose of recombinant DNA vaccines is to stimulate an immune response against specific pathogens or diseases. These vaccines are designed to introduce a small piece of the pathogen's DNA, known as an antigen, into the body. By delivering the antigen gene into our cells, recombinant DNA vaccines enable our cells to produce the antigen themselves. The immune system recognizes the antigen as foreign and mounts an immune response. This response involves the production of antibodies that specifically target the antigen and immune memory cells that provide long-term protection. In essence, the purpose of recombinant DNA vaccines is to train our immune system to recognize and fight off the targeted pathogen. 
Recombinant DNA vaccines offer several advantages over traditional vaccine approaches. They can be created and produced relatively quickly using genetic engineering techniques. Additionally, they are considered safe because they do not contain live or attenuated pathogens. Furthermore, these vaccines have the potential to provide broad-spectrum protection by targeting multiple strains or variants of a pathogen. Overall, the purpose of recombinant DNA vaccines is to provide effective and safe immunization against infectious diseases, contributing to the prevention and control of those diseases within populations. What are the examples of recombinant DNA vaccines? Certainly, here are a few examples of recombinant DNA vaccines that have been developed. Pfizer-BioNTech and Moderna COVID-19 Vaccines The Pfizer-BioNTech and Moderna COVID-19 vaccines are mRNA-based recombinant DNA vaccines. They utilize messenger RNA mRNA, to encode the spike protein of the SARS-CoV-2 virus, which triggers an immune response in the body. Johnson & Johnson COVID-19 Vaccine The Johnson & Johnson COVID-19 vaccine is a viral vector-based recombinant DNA vaccine. It utilizes a modified adenovirus vector, specifically AD26, to deliver the genetic instructions for the spike protein of the SARS-CoV-2 virus. This vaccine requires a single dose and has been authorized for emergency use in various countries. AstraZeneca COVID-19 Vaccine The AstraZeneca COVID-19 vaccine, also known as the Oxford AstraZeneca vaccine, is another viral vector-based recombinant DNA vaccine. It uses a modified chimpanzee adenovirus vector, CHADOX-1, to deliver the genetic material for the spike protein of the SARS-CoV-2 virus. This vaccine has been authorized for emergency use in multiple countries. Human papillomavirus, HPV, vaccines. HPV vaccines, such as Gardasil and Cervarix, are recombinant DNA vaccines targeting specific strains of the human papillomavirus. These vaccines use a viral-like particle, VLP, approach, where the L1 protein of the virus is expressed using recombinant DNA technology. HPV vaccines are crucial in preventing cervical cancer and other HPV-related diseases. Hepatitis B vaccine. The hepatitis B vaccine is a recombinant DNA vaccine that helps protect against hepatitis B virus infection. It is produced by inserting the gene encoding the hepatitis B surface antigen, HBSAG, into yeast cells. The yeast cells then produce HBSAG, which is used to create the vaccine. The hepatitis B vaccine has been highly successful in preventing hepatitis B infection. Conclusion In conclusion, recombinant DNA vaccines represent a revolutionary approach in the field of vaccination. By harnessing the power of genetic engineering, these vaccines offer numerous advantages such as safety, scalability, and the potential for broad-spectrum protection. Recombinant DNA vaccines utilize modified viral vectors or non-viral carriers to deliver specific antigen genes into our cells, triggering a robust immune response. That's all for today's video. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share it with others. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. Stay safe and stay healthy.